She awake, cause I energize her way too much How my job get, barking up the wrong tree You know how the dogs get, haven't fallen off yet. Is young boy better? That's the question that we need to answer within this video I've listened to, I almost said YBN I've listened to young boy randomly throughout the years You know, either he's been a feature, I heard a Lucy from him um, I even caught one of his old tapes, I think back in 2018, Kane and O-Dog, and I actually found myself liking a good deal of the songs off that record, uh, specifically Steppin'. Baby so off and niggas, but yeah, I'll be stalking niggas, and I'm really rich, yeah. No, I don't talk to me. Uh, the great feature that he had with Lil Yachty off NBA Youngboat was, you know, that was fantastic. So I, I can see why... People have liked NBA Youngboy well before his Tyler the Creator feature. So when I listened to his most recent album, I went into it being super positive. You know, I kind of wanted to have a relationship with NBA Youngboy's music similar to how I had with Lil Baby in that when I first was listening to Lil Baby, he was trash to me. Now, I can't go a day without hearing him. And that's not because public perception has changed around Lil Baby, it's just because he's legitimately gotten much better as a rapper. So with NBA Youngboy, hearing him in all these different veins, knowing that, in my opinion, he raps like he's falling down the stairs, listening to these features that have really standout moments, and uh, occasionally hearing a song from him that I might think is really good, gave me hope for this new album. So I'm going in like NBA Youngboy better, he the GOAT, he the GOAT, NBA Young Man. It's my top Young boy, young boy, young I was bored, I, out of my mind I like that emo song that he had on there A Toxic Punk But for the most part, I fell asleep This was NyQuil Deluxe Um, uh, Big Sean taking magnesium couldn't even save me From what I thought the disease of this album was That being said, I'm not trying to say that NBA Youngboy has no talent So, in this video, I want to go through the songs that you have selected At least via my Twitter account Which ones uh, that y'all have selected are like his best. I I'll judge for myself based off his best, his absolute best, what I think he has to offer, and if I can see why people fuck with him. Dude's got a ton of energy. He can sometimes be charismatic. He's aggressive. I actually prefer his accent when he's rapping as well. All right, the first one I'm gonna check out is Carter's son. I'm fucking with the guitar. Hey. Uh, hey. Hold on. Mm. He, why he flowing? Why he flowing? It's not that time of the month yet. Beat sounds a little bit more laid back and kind of reserved, but he still got like that aggression in his voice. And that aggression, and you pair it with his accent, it, it just it fuels the rapping a little bit more. Mm. But his enunciation, like when he gets to certain words or certain letters in certain words, you can hear him really put emphasis on it. So I might be mistaking a bit of his aggression for like the way he just decides to pronounce or or the emphasis that he puts on certain letters in the words. The way he pronounces it, it's like a beat drop without the instrumental like him pronouncing his words or pronouncing the letters within those words like that literally sounds like a beat drop a mini beat drop within the beat itself i like this song um it really reminds me especially with those horns of like you entering a a ghost town and nobody knows you everybody starts staring at you everybody's got you know they post it up everybody else has been here but you the odd man out type shit. and it sounds like an intro cut all right uh, carter son not bad at all let's go let's go to graffiti that was another one you was telling me about i say you like it's just you but it was like tons of y'all all right, so this is a song I feel like you definitely got to be a fan of NBA Youngboy to listen to and like unironically enjoy. Not saying that it's trash, it's just I don't know enough about Youngboy to be invested into what he's talking about because a lot of what he's saying right now is pretty general and can apply to so many different MCs. So I feel like if you were a fan of him, you'd definitely be interested in that type of content from him. It's also pretty dated in the way that it sounds. Um, and I don't think he's really utilizing the skill set that he has now back then obviously that was four or five years ago so i can see why his fan base would like it me not being a fan uh you know it just sounds kind of you know eh. uh the next one we got is lonely child fucking ad man Mama, I'm so sorry. I got 
I love that girl to death. As we get old, I'll feel a strange. I came from that, not bitch, I'm raw. I call Monique my mama. No, I think I see the appeal. Because what when he just said what he was saying right now, I really just pictured him in a therapy session, but not in, in a way that, you know, is conventional, but just in a way where he just has to talk. Cause he just, he just seems to be shooting things off, off of his brain, you know, just shooting things, anything that he's thinking about, you know, let me just say that, let me just say that, let me throw this out there, let me throw that out there. And while musically to me right now at this moment is not really that enjoyable, I can see the appeal in like interpreting somebody else's pain in that way, just like a, 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 a passing thought that they just shoot out. And contextually it still fits the narrative of the song, but the way it came out was almost as if someone asked, what's stressing you out? And he just like, everything. He's got like, and don't take this the wrong way, but like he doesn't have the talent of a Southern older R&B singer or soul singer, but he emulates the range very well. That like pain, that deep rooted aggression, fear, and all that trauma that's stirred up and then just like unleashes it is very reminiscent to like some late 60s to 70s um, uh, Southern soul music. I definitely feel that deep rooted within him. Is it comparable to that era? Absolutely fucking not. But I feel like that's the place that he draws from where he just like does these vocal, you know, outbursts. Uh, Next one is Free Dog. I kind of wanted to hear some bangers. Y'all like gave me some deep cuts and that's not, I mean, that's not really where I wanted to be right now. I'm not trying to <laughs> Oh, this is that song. You see what I'm saying? It's going. He's the the. Mm, it's the pronunciation of those letters that sounds like many drops within the beat itself. It's great. Like I get that. I get that. I feel that. Why are you looking at me like that? Top comment says, this song makes me want to buy a gift card with a gift card. Wow. Damn, you really can't do that. That's crazy. Song got me wanting to go out without my mask on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I like that. That whole song emitted the type of energy that you have when you were little and your mom like smacked the shit out of you and you knew you couldn't do shit about it. So you held all of it in. And then when you got in your room, you, you look like this nigga. Like that's what that song kind of embodied to me. Bass was knocking. I, the song was a little quiet. I don't know if those are just my speakers or uh, if the song was EQ just lower than average. I'm about to snap my neck. That song is like an exorcism. Uh, all right, next track is Rich As Hell. Bro, y'all basically gave me like half the fucking album from, uh, from Young Boy 2, like the fuck? Hold on. I might thank you for this, hold up. Hold on. Mm. Okay, hold on. That's kind of, I like that. Flow wise, I'm loving that he's not like constricting himself to like one style or one thing. And that's what, that was one of the other things that I liked about his music was that he was just so open to exploring different flows within the track. That's a very important thing to me if you didn't know. I've talked about it for years now, but yeah, the flow can never be too, too samey. It's always gotta, you always gotta switch it up at some point. Yeah. Who he talking to? That right there, know that I got like the way you roll the R in between that, I heard it, I saw it. Just so that you can stay with the beat, but still not lose pace, it's crazy. You slump, that's crazy. Yeah. I prefer that chopper. It'll kiss you and won't never tell. Oh, uh, that's funny. Yeah, Rich as Hell got a lot of different flows from Buddy. Got a lot of funny one-liners. Uh, that was a good song. It really was. Vocal inflections are popping. Uh, melody when he wants to. Sliding into the, I guess, hook. What, what little there was of it here. And again, that emphasis that he puts on certain letters, it just, it, it, it makes his words pop. Uh, Let's do GG and then we'll call it a day. Like, it's like the, 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 the spirit of Boosie. When I, when I used to listen to Boosie music, that's kind of, you know, uh, aggression wise where I got some of that energy. I think he, I think he's really bodying that right now. I ain't got no education. I dropped out of school. 
mm. Why did I say mmm to that? That's that's horrible, bro. Go back to school. All right, now I get it. Dropping out of school and then having enough to buy a school. That's a flex. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god. Uh. Hey, that was uh that was nice. I'm concerned, but I, but that was nice. All right, last one I'm gonna play is uh, Rebels Kick It. God. I swear I've heard this beat before. Yeah, bro, I got time. Oh my god. Have I been missing out? Oh my god. Yo, he might be better. Young boy might be better. I love that comment because it's so vague. It's like he's just better. Not better than anyone, just he's just better. Mm. These like Travis Scott esque vocal ad libs in the background while this like bridge is coming in, like that's nice. And then the beat, the the the, the drop. What you thinking about? What you hearing about? I'm gonna sit about it, man. You got twenty on that nigga. I'm gonna see you smile. I can't stop. Hey, this song got me feeling different. Two pairs of glasses. You feel me? Who is this? Wow, I really like that song, like a lot. It's crazy. I'm gonna have to listen to the to the most recent album again. Easily getting into one pocket, exiting it, getting into another. Flows are on point. I really like that line about uh, this emotion picture from the trenches. I think he said, "Almost like you can only get this movie from me, or I know a good portion of the people that are listening to this ain't where I'm from." So I got to paint the picture a certain way. You know what I mean? I like that. All in all, I see why you like Young Boy. I do. I see why people say why be better. Outside of maybe two tracks that I listen to here. I don't think that this was a, a bad, uh, you know, example of all that he has to offer in his skill set, you know, and the things that make him listenable, his strengths, you know, um, I see why people like listen to him. I see why people like him. That doesn't mean that he don't have some trash in his discography because I've heard some. Don't get me wrong. I've heard some really, really weak NBA young boy songs. So let's not get it twisted. But um, this definitely has me excited about, you know, his future if he can make stuff like this um songs as strong as this and i'm gonna probably go listen to a good portion of his discog to see what else i can grab from i don't expect to get a full project that's really my my, my main issue with him because even off of his most recent album i liked a couple of the songs on there but majority of it was just too much you know a bunch of the beats didn't really hit me like that uh, some of them kind of relied on this piano-esque sad boy necessarily emo but um you know very reminiscent of a like southern artists like a rod wave where, 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 we, where we over utilize a similar instrument um to kind of paint this sad aesthetic while you rap about your trauma and stuff like that not that that's a bad thing to rap about the things that make you you but instrumentally nothing interesting is happening and the songs just kind of bog me down because there's so many of them that sound like that uh but there are highlights you know what i mean and these are definitely in my opinion a lot of his highlights but the second one, NBA Youngboy 2, I think is the album that I got majority of these songs from. I might have to check that one out. Uh, but thank y'all for watching. NBA Youngboy. I'll let y'all get that off. All right. Why be better? I'll let you get it off.